Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1983 Detroit Tigers season replay. Today's game is the Detroit Tigers versus the Boston Red Sox at Fenway Park. On the mound for the Tigers today is Tom Filer, whose record is 0-0 with a 7.71 ERA. And pitching for the Red Sox today is Oil Can Boyd, whose record is 1-0 with a 1.13 ERA. So we go ahead and get two out of three against the Yankees at home, uh, winning 5-2 to two, uh, in yesterday's game. Dan Petrie, who started the game, probably had his best start uh, in the four seasons we've played. He went seven innings, struck out six, uh, only gave up a couple base hits and a couple of walks. So uh, I hope that is a sign of things to come for Petrie, who we desperately need to really be a number three starter on our team. And now we head into uh, Fenway Park to face the Red Sox. We've already seen the Red Sox. We opened the uh, season against them. And we've got our number five starter on the mound. Let's take a look at the Red Sox uh, team page here, in case you want to see what they've done so far. Uh, Mike Chris is leading uh, the team in ERA. John Tudor, I mean, not a lot to look at here. Fred Lynn just got that big extension for one in $1.4 million a year through 1987, and their newly acquired catcher, Dennis Littlejohn, has two home runs. Uh, okay, so also, since this is our first trip to uh, Fenway Park, let's take a look at the stadium real quick and uh, see if we have any advantages here. It looks like home runs versus left-handed batters, forget about it, uh, 55, 45% less likely to hit a home run here. And, of course, uh, right field uh, with uh, the uh, pesky pole over there, 29% more likely. So this is almost the complete opposite of Exhibition Stadium in Toronto. Uh, but as far as hitting goes, uh, both above average, left-handed hitters, 102, and uh, right-handed batters, 14% more likely to hit home runs. Doubles, 27% above average. Uh, triples, less likely. Strikeouts right there at league average, double plays 13% more likely, and errors right about average for Fenway Park. So um, I probably have too many lefties in this lineup, but with Oil Cam Boyd on the mound, uh, who is a righty, I think we're just going to go with the odds and go with um, a bunch of lefties here. So let's go ahead and get today's game started. As always, I appreciate everyone following along. Like and or subscribe to the channel. Okay, so here's Tom Filer. Not a good first time out uh, with going those four and two-thirds innings. Current Red Sox, only pl eight plate appearances. Uh, they batted 375, so we can't really tell a lot from that. All of the bullpen is available because there was a day off in between uh, the Yankees and Boston. Let's take a look at the lineup for today against Oil Can Boyd. We got three lefties right out of the gate, stacking the top of the lineup. Getting Greg Brock in there at DH. We're going to give Ricky the day off. Uh, he's not hitting very well. And so we're going to put Gibby in left field and Brock is at DH. And uh, Lance Parrish back in the lineup after getting a day off as well. And Gary Hancock in there in right field. So let's go ahead and do the official Tigers lineup rundown for today's game. Batting a leadoff, playing second base is Sweet Lou Whitaker. Batting second in left field is Kirk Gibson. Batting third in DHing is Greg Brock. Batting cleanup, playing third base is Mickey Hatcher. Batting fifth, playing first base is Eddie Murray. Batting sixth, playing center field is Andre Dawson. Batting seventh in right field is Gary Hancock. Batting eighth and catching is Lance Parrish. And batting ninth, playing shortstop today is Alan Trammell. Let's take a look at Oil Can Boyd. Oil Can Mississippi slang for beer can. In fact, you pronounce oil Earl. It's Earl Can Boyd. Uh, he's making his 33rd career start. Uh, his second of the season. Uh, he's 1-0 with a 113 ERA. Doesn't walk many. You see his controls rated at 96. 
So uh, no walks in his first game. Only 15 walks in 106 innings pitched last year. His fastball tops out around 90 miles an hour. Uh, his ground ball percentage is 42, which is about average. Uh, his fastball is his best pitch. It's rated an 87 with a curve rated 79. He's got a slider and a change mixed in. Uh, his overall rating is 86, and his peak is 93. So he's got some room to improve over the next few seasons. He goes to arbitration next year. He's only 23 years old. He wasn't even in the majors yet. As you see, his uh, minor league Pawtucket Red Sox uh, card right there. Let's uh, take a look at the defensive alignment for the Red Sox today. They have uh, Dennis Littlejohn uh, catching behind the plate. He's one of the best arms in baseball, rated a 92. So we're probably not going to be doing any running today. And we got a gold glover out there in center field with uh, Freddie Lynn. Marty Barrett also gold glover at second. Okay, let's get today's game started. Here's Sweet Lou leading off against Oil Can Boyd. Play ball! Lou, two for three, the home run in his career against Boyd. Hits a ground ball to short. Roy Smalley makes the play, one down. That's going to bring up Gibby. Gibby still looking for his first home run of the year. And he gets a ground ball that sneaks past Barrett at second. And Gibby is on. We are not going to steal, as I mentioned. We're going to let Brock take a cut. He's got a couple home runs, both in the same game. And he walks. So runners at first and second. A very rare walk for Boyd, as we mentioned in the pregame. One down. Here's Mickey Hatcher. And that looked like ball four. Took a cut at it, pops it up to Boggs at third. See the uh, fifth pitch in the at bat was way outside. It's going to leave it up to Eddie Murray to drive in these runs. R Murray's got three home runs already this year, and he walks on a close pitch. So the Tigers have bases loaded. Boyd's already thrown 21 pitches here in the first. Here's Andre Dawson, and he strikes out swinging on a pitch down in the zone. We go to the bottom of the first. No score. Here is the official lineup rundown for the Red Sox for today. Batting leadoff and catching is Dennis Littlejohn. Batting second, playing second base, is Marty Barrett. Batting third, playing third base, is Wade Boggs. Batting cleanup, playing first base, is Pat Dodson. Batting fifth in left field is Jim Rice. Batting sixth in right field is Clint Hurdle. Batting seventh in center field is Freddie Lynn. Batting eighth, playing shortstop is Roy Smalley. And batting ninth and DHing today is Lachelle Tarver. Let's take a look at Tommy Filer. As I mentioned, rough go around, giving up four runs in his first start on six hits and a walk. No Ks. That's not going to get it done. He was a nice surprise last year, making 21 starts and 23 appearances, going 9 and 4 with that 370 ERA. I have no reason to think he can't put together a good season for us. It's number five starter. 53 Ks in 119 innings pitch. Opponents batted 282 against him. He's got that 90 mile an hour fastball, ground balls. 46.5%. Two solid pitches, a fastball and a slider, both uh, both average and above. It's got a curveball he mixes in there. Uh, he is rated an 81, and he's peaked out according to the game. 26 years old, and he goes to uh, arbitration next year. Okay, so let's take a look at the Tigers' defense. Gold glove at first base and second base. And as I mentioned, Gibby out there in left field already committed an error this year. As Dennis Littlejohn leads off against Tom Filer. Littlejohn, base hit, pass, trammel it short, leadoff man is on. Next up, Marty Barrett, runner on first. And the same spot. Back-to-back -back singles for the Red Sox. We swept the Red Sox, so maybe they're exacting some revenge this series. 
Best hitter in the ball game. Wade Boggs grounds into a double play. 4-6-1. Whitaker starting the double play. Little John standing on third. For Pat Dodson, the rookie. He's got a couple home runs since we saw him in that first series. And there's the base hit. Once again through the left side of the infield. All three hits in the same spot. And that drives in the first run of the ball game. One to nothing, Boston. Jim Rice up next, and he walks him. All right, so neither pitcher having a good first inning. As Rice is on first, Dodson on second for Clint Hurdle. Hurdle has the only stolen base on the whole team, and he pops it up to third. Hatcher under it and makes the catch. one nothing Boston to go to the top of the second. Gary Hancock leading off. Hancock had his third home run of the season in yesterday's game. And the third walk for Boyd. Youch. Effectively wild, I guess, at this point. Lance Parrish up next. Takes strike three looking. Two Ks to go with those three walks. And Trammell grounds it to short, and that's a double play. We go to the bottom of the second inning. Freddie Lynn leading off Lynn, Smalley, and Tarver for a lineup for a, a ballpark that is not conducive to left-handed hitters. Uh, they have six if you count the switch hitter. Here's Fred Lynn, a comebacker to Filer. He tosses it over to Murray, one down. Next up, Roy Smalley. Smalley, ground ball to second. Lou makes the play. Two quick outs for Filer. It's going to leave it up to Lachelle Tarver, a DH batting ninth in the lineup. Tramble makes the play on the outfield grass, and that'll do it. So a nice comeback inning for Filer. One, two, three. Go to the top of the third. Here is our three lefties, Whitaker, Gibby, and Brock. Base hit in the right field for Whitaker. And the leadoff man is on. I kind of feel like we should hit and run here, but Gibby, his contact is only average. But we need to get some pressure going. Let's try to hit and run here. A straight steal, as I mentioned, not a good idea. Ground ball to second. That'll get Whitaker over. So Whitaker in scoring position at second base as Greg Brock steps in with one down. And a base hit up the middle. Whitaker coming around third. And he holds at third. Threw up the stop <laughs> the uh, stop sign. And now we do have a hit and run situation that should work here with Hatcher. He's been so clutch this year. First to third, one down. Try to stay out of the double play. Ground ball to third. Whitaker scores. The game is tied. We give Hatcher an RBI. And Brock in scoring position at second base. Murray up, and he rips it into right field. Will Brock score from second? He does. Tigers take the lead on the RBI single from Murray. It's 2-1. to one. Andre Dawson up next. Flipping it out to left, and it's caught by Jim Rice in left field, and that'll do it. So Tigers string together a few base hits, take the lead. It's 2-1. to one. We're back to Dennis Littlejohn leading off the inning. He had a base hit first time up, scored the first run. Here he flies out to Dawson in center field. One out. Marty Barrett up next, walks. So Tom Filer has yet to strike out a batter. That's three walks against no strikeouts. That's not going to get it done, especially with batters like Wade Boggs up. They're going to play straight away against Boggs. A ground ball to Trammell. That could be two. Ah, the only play was the first. Runner on second, two down. Leave it up to Pat Dodson. And Dodson 
line drive to center field. Deep, 342 feet caught by Dawson. And we're moving on to the fourth. Hancock leading off the inning, followed by Parrish and Trammell. And Hancock rips it down the right field line. Gets held to a single. I mean, Gary Hancock, what a great surprise he is. Runner on first. Boyd at 66 pitches here in the fourth. Lance Parrish up next, grounded into a double play first time up, and he strikes out here. That means a hit and run time for Trammell. Let's see if we can't get Hancock in motion. One, two count. Oh man, I thought that was gonna be a strike him out, throw him out. Instead, it's a base at the center. First and third for Sweet Lou. And um, we're going to let him take a cut because I think it's going to be a bait. Uh, any of the outfield positions, I don't think, uh, with a fly ball, I don't think Hancock could score. So we're going to let Whitaker take a swing. There we go. Base it to right. That'll score Hancock easily. Tram will go into third. An RBI single for Whitaker. It's 3-1. to one. Still only one out. Now I feel good about a sack fly from Gibson. First to third, one down, and Gibby. That might just fall in for a hit. Little duck star. No, we'll be caught. We are going to send the runner, and Trammell's out at home. We have had nothing but bad juju on the base pass this season. That's the third time we've been thrown out. That was a double play. We go to the bottom of the fourth inning. Let's see if that swings the momentum. That sometimes happens in this game with uh, base running blunders. Well, it's not going to start with Jim Rice as he grounds out to second. There's one down. Here's Clint Hurdle. Ground ball to Whitaker. Back to back grounders. Two quick outs. It's going to leave it up to Freddie Lynn. And he crushes it. That's why he gets the big money. 403 feet to right field over the bullpen. And it's 3-2 to two. Detroit. That's Lynn's first home run on the season. Don't tell Lynn you can't hit. Lefties can't hit home runs in this park. Uh, okay, so Smalley's got a double now. This is exactly what happened in Filer's first start. He could not get through four. I pull the outfield in. I mean, it's two down, so Smalley's going to be running anyway. Ground ball to second. Whitaker making all the plays. And we hold on to the lead as Freddie Lynn deposits a fastball into the uh, right field bleachers. We go to the top of the fifth inning. Here's Greg Brock leading off. Brock flips it out to right field. Plays made by Hurdle. One down. Hatcher up next. Strikeout swinging. Two down for Eddie Murray. And Murray rips it into right field. This is a... I said it yesterday, but this is a different team. When you've got... Look, at, I mean, Brock, Hatcher, Murray, and Dawson all hitting well. And Dawson hits a comebacker to Boyd. And that'll do it. Boyd almost had 100 pitches through five now. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Tigers holding on to a run, one run lead with uh, Tom Filer at 70 pitches. Little John hits a grounder to Whitaker. Four straight plays for Whitaker. And uh, looks like they're trying to go the other way every time. Not this time. Barrett goes to left. Gibby, good running catch into left center field. That's going to bring up Wade Boggs. 0 for 3 with a strikeout in his career against Filer. And he flies out to center. Nice 1-2-3 inning. 
filer through five. We go to the top of the sixth. Let's take a look at the in-game stats. Player of the game so far could be Murray. Two for two with a ribby. That looks pretty good. And Whitaker's got a couple hits. So here's Hancock. Base hit and a walk today. And he pops it up. Smalley at short makes the catch. Next up is Parrish. I think I said he grounded into a double play, but he's actually struck out both at bats. There we go. Nice made contact. Sharply hit ground ball to first. Dodson steps on the bag. Two outs. Here's Tram. Tram rips it off the wall. Off the green monster for a double. And they're going to take out Boyd. Not wasting any time. That is Trammell's second double of the season. Mike Smithson comes in. And uh, he's made one appearance this year already, going three and a third, giving up three runs. He is their long reliever, and uh, he's only made ten appearances coming into today's game. And he did play in the uh, 1981 ALCS. His fastball tops out at 86 miles an hour. He's a ground ball pitcher, 51.5%. Sinker's his best pitch. He doesn't even have a fastball. He's got a slider and a change. Overall, his rating's at 84, pretty solid, and he's definitely a control pitcher. 28 years old, and he goes to arbitration next year. You see here he's on the uh, Texas Rangers in his 1983 Tops card. Okay, Lou, we need a clutch hit here from you. He's two for three with an RBI, Trammell on second. And a comebacker to Smithson. And that'll do it, just like that. We go to the bottom of the sixth inning. Tigers are up a run. It's Dodson, Rice, and Hurdle. We are going to give Filer a chance here to go one more. Line drive from Dodson. That was ball four. He was taking a cut anyway. And again, Whitaker makes the catch. One down. And Jim Rice hits a grounder to Hatcher. Two outs. Filer kind of pulled it together. Hurdle steps in and strikes out. Hey, there's Filer's first K on the season. Let's all celebrate it. Going to the top of the seventh. And Smithson comes back out to pitch the second inning. Gibby, Brock, and Hatcher are due up. Gibson, a ground ball to first. One down. Here's Greg Brock. Brock Ness Monster, ground ball to third. Two down. Just going to leave it up to Hatcher to get something going here. Nope. Slow roller to short, and that'll do it. Okay, so we are going to make a couple of changes. Good job by Father. We're going to take him out. He's got the lead this time. We're going to bring in our boy, George Capizello. We love Cappy. Fourth appearance today. Five and a third innings. <coughs> Excuse me. No ERA. He's not giving up anything. Five hits, though. A couple of walks, three strikeouts last year. He was an all-star. The only reliever to the all-star team. And he was lights out. You kind of know the rest. His two-seamer rated a 94. And he goes to arbitration this year. We're gonna, I think we're going to keep him. He's 29 years old. I think we're going to pay him. Why would we let him go? Uh, and so then we're also going to take out Hatcher and bring in Gieselars to play third. Hatcher just batted, so he's not going to get around uh, most likely for another at bat. So we're going to bring in a defensive replacement. And here's Cappy facing Fred Lynn. Already has a home run today. Oh, Lynn ropes it to center field. You can hate the laundry on that one. Oh, it's a double. A leadoff double for Lynn. That is his sixth double of the season. Wow. He is off to a hot start. And now we have a little bit of a problem here. We'll pull the outfield in. Here's Smalley. All right. Well, there you go. Two at-bats and the game is tied. I guess Cappy was due. 
Um, we don't see a lot of left-handers uh, tear up Capazello, but so far so good for the Red Sox. Here's Lachelle Tarver, and he walks him. Holy smokes. Here's the catcher, Dennis Littlejohn. Um, man, I mean, we should just pull him at this point. Seems like he's got nothing. Um, I think we're going to try to get through this inning with with uh, Cappy. Ground ball to third. We do get two. Good job by Solars at third. And I just said, we, <laughs> I mean, Hatcher wouldn't get another at-bat. Now he probably would. will get it, another at-bat. Um, so here's Barrett. Barrett's a righty. Do we walk Barrett to get to Boggs? I think we're going to pitch to him. We are going to pull third base in. There we go. Ground ball to Whitaker. And the Tigers get out of the inning. So Cappy probably gets a, blow, a blown save there, actually. Um, giving up a double, a single, and a walk to start off the inning. And then pulls himself out of it. We go to the top of the eighth inning. All tied at three. Here's Eddie Murray leading off. Line drive the left. And he gets down for a single. No, we're going to hold. And we're definitely going to hit and run. Runner on first. Dawson at the plate. He strikes out. And uh, no, it's just uh, he didn't strike out. He just missed it. And Murray gets his second stolen base. Both of his stolen bases are on missed hit and run situations. Unbelievable. And he gets a stolen base against Little John. I think his first one was against Little John as well. Okay, so here's uh, Dawson. We're going to try to hit to the right side. Let's just get Murray over. There you go. Good job, Dawson. That'll get Murray to third. They're going to pull the infield in. I think uh, we're going to get a pinch runner in there. We're going to bring in... Obviously, we're going to bring in Ricky Henderson. And then Hojo could play first. Okay. So, all we want is a sack fly from Hancock. Anywhere should score Henderson. If it's a ground ball, he's going to be out at home. Here we go. Oh, 2-2 two, two count. Okay, he gets a piece of it. Sends it to right. Hurdle has no arm out there. Henderson tags and scores. And we retake the lead 4-3. to three. Good job all around. Kind of manufactured a run there. And then Parrish hits the grounder to second, and that'll do it. So let's take a look here and get our defense straight. Um, okay, we're going to put Henderson in left. And we're going to bring in Hojo to play first. And we are good. And um, do we trust Capazello after that terrible outing? I think we've only got two lefties in the bullpen, right? Correct? Yeah, Dave Rucker's the other one. And we might not need him to close out the ball game. So we're going to try to go two innings with Capazello here. Uh, defense looks good. Okay, here we go. Wade Boggs leading off against Capazello. Brown ball to Johnson at first. The ball find you. One down. Here's Pat Dodson. Striking him out. Two quick outs. Do we trust Capazello to go after Rice? We do not. We're going to bring in Roger Weaver. To get this big out here. And then there's all these lefties. So we're going to uh, have Rucker close out the ball game. Assuming we get to that. We're going to bring in our boy Roger Weaver. To go after Jim Rice. Rice one for six with a K. In his career against Weaver. And there you go. 
Easy fly ball to right. And we're going to the ninth inning. Tigers are up by one. Trammell, Whitaker, and Ojo are due up against Smithson. Trammell lets that sinker go by him. One down. First K for Smithson. Here's Lou. Lou two for four today. And he strikes out. Back to back K's. Here's Hojo. And a ground ball to second. Okay, we're going to the bottom of the ninth inning. And we're going to bring in Dave Rucker. He's got four saves on the season already. He has been lights out. It's Hurdle, Lynn, Smalley, and then Tarver if we get that far. Now, they, in the first time this happened, they pinch hit Hurdle for uh, Yvonne Calderon. I don't know why they haven't. Um, you know what? Once we uh, downloaded the... Um, 2022 version. I did not go back and check to see if my uh, percentages had uh, carried over. Maybe they didn't. I will check that before tomorrow's game. Here's Clint Hurdle leading off against Rucker. Striking him out inside under the hands. Nicely done. One down. Here's Fred Lynn. We know Lynn can hit a home run off a lefty. Striking him out. Back to back K's. For Rucker, it comes down to Roy Smalley. He batted 250 last year versus lefties. Two for three on the day with an RBI. 0 2 count and a ground ball to short. And the Tigers win 4 to 3. Handshakes, butt slaps, slap of steaks. We're going to get a nice steak here in Boston. Okay, here's another trade offer. Again, from the Giants, they are pushing Jack Clark on us and Dan Gladden. That's a pretty good offer. They want Eddie Murray. I feel like we should take Eddie Murray off the market. Can we just do that right here? We won't trade him. Because uh, he's hitting so well. And um, there's no point in entertaining any uh, trade offers. Let's take a look at the standings real quick. Hey, we're 9-1. and one. Uh, Three games up on Baltimore. Oakland leading the West. And we take a look here at the National League. Philadelphia 8-2. and two. LA 9-2. and two. So we have the best record in baseball right now. Who'd have thunk it? Let's take a look at the headline news. Brainiac Daily Beat. Advancing. Steve Davis. Gets five hits in an 11-2 win for the Blue Jays over KC. Um, five for five. Performance nicely done. And then they repeat it here. <laughs> hey, he had a stolen base in there. Scored three runs. Two RBIs. Oh, and just for good measure, we thought we'd throw it in at the end also. Um, so, <laughs> Steve Davis. Uh, I guess that's what you get when you buy a Toronto newspaper. Uh, okay, that's going to be it. We're going to move on to transactions. What do we have going on here today? Uh, Jeff Reardon of the Metropolitans gets a four-year extension uh, for $205,000. Solid reliever. A couple of injuries. Atlanta loses to third baseman Paul Rungi for the season with a broken wrist. And Chris Knapp. The number five starter for the Angels is going to miss one start. Okay, let's pull up the box score and get out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and or subscribe. You know how that works. Who's the player of the game? Uh, this is a tough call. Maybe it's Whitaker. I know he had a pretty... He had a, yeah, he had two hits, drove in a run. Oh, Murray's three for three. We're going to give it to Murray. Uh, Trammell did have a double. Cappy gets the vulture win. He gives up the uh, lead. And pitches well enough to get the win. Dave Rucker, his fifth save on this season. Five saves in ten games. I like that ratio. Mike Smithson, who pitched really well, uh, was on the mound when the Tigers manufactured the go-ahead run. Freddie Lynn hit his first home run of the season. Okay, that's going to do it. Check out my uh, sports card video right here. I, I believe this one is going to be the uh, number two most popular video on the channel. It is... 
uh, the uh, score 2021, no, 2020 score football. There you go. Until tomorrow, everyone, have a great night.